Hey, it's Coach K from TeenFalseLife.com and I learned something really funny this week. You know those warning labels on products that are meant to save our lives? You know, like this one that says, like, warning, don't put your head in the bucket when there's water in it because you could drown. Like the one on the dog shampoo that says, warning, you're not supposed to feed this to your fish. And the hair dryer that says, warning, don't use this while you're in the shower. And I mean, even Windex, for crying out loud, says, don't spray in your eyes, okay? I used to think these labels were a joke. And this week, I think I've learned that they were put here for a reason. Okay, somebody must have done it, and there was some genius that gets paid a whole bunch of money to create these warning labels to save our lives. I now believe in this. I now believe that somebody was really dumb enough to spray Windex in their eyes, use their hair blow dryer in the shower, or feed their dog shampoo to their fish. And I use buckets every day. I've never thought of putting my head in it when it's got water in it. Anyway, I'm making this video because they forgot a warning label. And they forgot this warning label on drumhead packages. On the outside of the drumhead box, we need a new warning label, and it needs to say, do not use super glue to tune your drumhead. Do not use super glue to connect the drumhead to the rim. No super glue needed. I don't care what it needs to say. Whatever that genius is that makes all that money needs to come up with something really catchy that keeps band directors from doing something like this. Okay. I don't know if you can see this head. It's nice and old. Bender did a great job. Left it on there for seven whole years. What a genius. Thank you so much. I'm just kidding. I'm not bitter. I'm not like a drum coach or anything. And so we tried to change this drum head because there was this awesome eighth grade kid and his grandma who decided to donate new drum heads for just one snare drum. He was so proud. And so I took him into another room. We were going to learn how to change drum heads together as his reward for doing this is like a thank you so much for doing this and for stepping up. But we couldn't get the drum head off. Why is this? There is super glue between the rim and the head. Now, I had kids stand on this. I had kids jump up and down on this. I had the biggest tuba player in town try to kick this head open. We used a hammer. We used a flathead screwdriver to try to pry this open. Um, what else did we do? We did all sorts of crazy things trying to get this drum head out from the hoop. We measured the hoop. We checked the hoop to make sure that it wasn't warped or anything. No. It is definitely super glued in there. Or Gorilla glued or some type of epoxy. I have no idea. But it's in there and I don't think it's coming off. And so here's the thing. Super gluing your drum head is not going to keep it in tune. Just like a couple years ago when I saw people super glue these tension rods into the lug casing to keep the drum in tune longer, that didn't work either because then we never got to change the drum heads because they were locked on. It was great. Oh, the warning labels that need to come on drum heads. Who's going to write them? It could be you. Are you going to save the world of drum heads? Come on! Somebody come up with a warning label, quick! Thank you.